again. Welcome back to Reading Destination. I'm so glad you came back for another story. Today we're going to read a very old one. And it's called In the Forest by Marie Hall Etz. I had a new horn and a paper hat. And I went for a walk in the forest. A big lion was taking a nap, but he woke up when he heard my horn. Where are you going? He said to me. May I go too, if I comb my hair? <laughs> so he combed his hair and he came too. When I went for a walk in the forest, two baby elephants were taking a bath, but they stopped their splashing when they saw me. Wait for us, they said, and they dried their ears. One put on his sweater, one put on some shoes, and the elephant babies came too. When I went for a walk in the forest, two big brown bears sat under a tree. They were counting their peanuts and eating jam. Wait a minute, they called. We want to go too. So, they picked up their peanuts and a spoon for the jam, and the big brown bears came too. When I went for a walk in the forest, a mother and father kangaroo were teaching their baby how to hop. We'll bring our drums, the mother said, and our baby is no bother at all. I carry him in my pocket. In her pocket? Hmm. Oh. So the baby climbed into his mother's pouch and the kangaroos came too. When I went for a walk in the forest, an old gray stork was sitting down beside a pool of water. He sat so still that I had to go near to see if he was real. The stork stood up and looked at me. He did not say one word. But when I went back to my animals, the funny bird came too. Two little monkeys high up in the trees stopped playing and shouting when they saw me. A parade! A parade! We like a parade! So they got their best suits from a hole in a tree. And the two little monkeys came too when I went for a walk in the forest. I spied a rabbit behind a tall weed. Don't be afraid, I called him. If you want to go too, you can walk with me. So the rabbit came too. My, what a quite the company he's building, huh? I blew my horn, the lion roared, the elephants trumpeted through their trunks, the big bears growled, the kangaroos drummed, the stork clapped his beak, the monkeys shouted and clapped their hands, but the rabbit made no noise at all when I went for a walk in the forest. We came to a place made for picnics and games, so we stopped and ate peanuts and jam. 
and some ice cream and cake that were there. Oh my, I wonder who left the ice cream and cake. I see an ice cream maker. Hmm. We play drop the handkerchief once all around. And London Bridges is falling down. I know London Bridges is falling down, but I don't know drop the handkerchief. I'll see if I can find it. Maybe if I find it, I'll put the link so that you can look it up and maybe you can learn to play it too. What do you think about that? Then I was it for hide and seek and everyone hid except the rabbit. He just stood still. Coming, I called. Then I opened my eyes. There wasn't an animal there at all. But there was Dad. He was hunting for me. Whom were you talking to, he said. To my animals. They are hiding, you see. But it's late, Dad said. We must go home. Perhaps they will wait till another day. So I called to them as I rode away. Goodbye, I said. Don't go away. I'll hunt for you another day when I come for a walk in the forest. He rode away. Oh, he rode away on Daddy's shoulders. How fun would that be, huh? Have you ever done that? That's the end of our story. Wasn't that a nice story? Very nice story. So if you liked it as much as I did, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to mark, uh, tap on that notification bell so that you're notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when a new story has been posted. And we all know what to do, don't we? We need to share. Share it all around with all our friends. Bye-bye for now.